Hey guys, it is Clark Sexton from Ruoff Home Mortgage and we're here today continuing our education series. Today's topic is credit. It is the, the unknown out there. What does it even involve? How do I find my scores? What do those scores even mean? So let's talk about it. In general, the credit scores range from 300 to 850. In order to get approved, you have to have at a minimum a 580 score. Obviously, the higher the better. Sometimes if you have you know, a 585, we're st still not able to get you approved, so we need to have a conversation another day. But let's talk about credit, what all is involved and how it's important to you. Just as an encouragement to you, many of you, if you're younger, you receive applications from credit card companies. Please be careful the amount of credit that you open. That does impact your scores for many years to come. What a credit score is, is telling us how well, it's a grade, how well when you borrow money or you buy something on credit, do you pay it back over time? And that's exactly what the score means. Another thing that comes in, that's involved in there in the calculation is the history. So you can't necessarily fast forward time, nor would we want to, but what it does is tells us over time, are you paying things on time? So let's talk about some things that can really hurt your credit. First of all, late payments, of course. Another thing that a lot of people do not understand is this. With a credit card, if you have, you carry a balance, over 50% of the limit, it will erode your scores over time. Even if you're making payments every single month on time, it still will lower your scores if you're carrying a balance more than 50% of the limit. Here's what I mean. If you have a $1,000 limit on your credit card and you carry a balance more than $500, it will drop your scores when you continue to carry that balance. So be careful about that. Another thing that could impact you with credit is things like bankruptcies, common things, medical, medical collections. These are all things, judgments. These are all things that can negatively impact your credit and prevent you from being able to buy a home. The last thing I want to discuss is student loans. It's something that's very prevalent that a lot of younger people have or a lot of parents have that they've co-signed. In many cases, this does prevent people from being able to buy a home either because of late payments or because of the fact that even when they are in forbearance or they're deferred, we still have to count a payment in your debt to income ratio. So keep all of these things in mind when you're getting ready to buy a home. One more thing as a bonus information, and that is when you co-sign. If you co-sign for a family member or a friend, we do have to count that payment against you even if they're making the payments. Now there are some exceptions to that, we can talk about it, but that does show up on your credit. And the worst thing is, is if they are late, that negatively impacts you, even when you're trying just to help them out. So keep that in mind before you make that plunge. Once again, guys, if you have any questions about credit or anything else as it relates to the home buying process, use us as a resource. Contact information is right there below. And always choose a great day.